Hey guys, super happy to present to you guys version 2.1 for the Grounds and Roads pack of Smart Shaders. It is 100% compatible with Blender 2.93 LTS, which is the latest release so far. Of course, all the previous shaders are refactored and they're working very well with the latest version. Apart from that, since the road shaders have got so much love over the past year, I think it was about time I added a new shader. So the tarmac shader is here. I think the tarmac shader is the most realistic shader in the pack right now if you are going for a very grungy look. The tarmac shader comes with of course the previous settings that all the road shaders have. Along with that we have a whole host of new grain settings. So you can change the distribution of larger grains and their sizes of course, their uh, shape and how they are spread over the finer grains. You can also control the level of fine detail that you have when you uh, when you are in the close up. So that's really helpful if you're going to get a very a low angle shot of maybe a car on your road or something like that to keep the roads realistic. Apart from that, if you are not making uh, highways or similar roads, then you can go for the concrete shader which I have just added. And you can use it for residential areas, smaller streets and stuff like that. And yeah, I think the, one of the most important things that came to my attention was that the lines or the road markings, whichever way you want to call them, they were looking very clean and look they looked very newly painted and did not really interact very well with the grain of the road it was good but there was a huge room for improvement so that's what i did for this update so now as you can see that the road lines have that wear and damage and that real grungy feel to them as if the paint is realistically interacting with the grain of the road and of course you can change how much damaged it looks along the edges of the road. So I have added a new set of features for that. So you can dial in the exact amount of line wear and damage that you want. Of course the discoloration settings are still there. Again, all of these features are new and I'm open to feedback. If you guys feel like this was not the correct way to go about it, you can let me know and I will reconsider all of this and refactor it for the next update if more, many people come up um, saying that this was not the right move. But anyways, that was all I had for you guys for this update. And if you haven't already, make sure you get the shader pack. All the future updates will be free. Of course, this update is free for the people who have already purchased the shader pack. So thank you very much for watching. If you have the shader pack already, that's great. And if you haven't, I hope you'll check that out after this video. Anyways, peace. Have a great day.